Hello everyone, this is Tammy, back with another new, new vision embossing. Now, this one, wow. I don't know if you have this one, but I am a sucker for flowers. And I just thought this embossing folder was fabulous. But, I actually did try to use this. Here's the cutting um, die. I tried. It looks like it would line everything up if you embossed it and then you would go um, you know with your embossed piece and try to line this up. Let me tell you if you don't line this up perfectly it doesn't look good and I just couldn't. I even would draw a line to see where to put it when I put the embossing folders go down just a little bit. I worked and worked and worked at this and I just got frustrated years ago and never used it again. Well, even some of the dies, if you look at it, this doesn't line up. You know, this is the different one. In fact, if you're doing this one, you know, I don't know how good this one looks done with that. Um, I did one for you here. I mean, it looks okay, but I prefer it done off of this one. And when you're um, doing them, you know, they're the flat kind. So, and this one is the scallop. So, I'm not quite sure. And then if you don't line these centers up, they look terrible. Like I said, I tried and tried and tried. So, how I do it is I cut them first. I cut all my pieces. And here's one that I would have cut. And then when I want to emboss, and I'll tell you, I don't even try to stick a lot of them in there. I... Just try to line that up the best I can. And then I just shut it and emboss. That's how I use this. It's the only way that's worked for me. Even the centers, when I want them embossed, that's how I have to do it. Uh, if I want to do one of these, as you see here, I've done, you know, I've scalloped it, cut it first, then put it in this and done it. It's the only way that it worked for me. But... Like I said, I'm a sucker for flowers, and I do really, I do really like it now. Um, but it is a little bit more time consuming. Like I said, I, I just thought, you know, it'd be totally lined up. Maybe their intent was, but it just doesn't. I worked for hours to try to come up with a formula. I mean, you can almost get it. But the center, one little thing just isn't quite right, and it's not worth it. I like mine. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I like to do it. Cut it first, then, then um, um, emboss it. So, some samples that I have. The first one, I have quite a few samples here. The first one, I just cut it out. Ooh, I have something here. Have a, I just cut it out with the um, coordination paper and sanded the sanded the petals and I just I don't know where I got the black paper from put a bow now here this thanks I just cuddle bug that and then I embossed it and then I just cut out around I used black ink to to kind of bring it um, out because I did it on cream cardstock. And I also did some stitching on this and um, cut that off there. But, you know, that was my first one. And um, I also, since with this thank you card, I also embossed thanks on the envelope. I love doing some embossing with those little folders on envelopes. So, and I just put a little bit of paper inside. Now my second one, I wanted to use that scallop. And... Um, I do have a few of my, I love my iRock, some of my iRock stuff. I do have Hello, and I did get that from a stamp set from my Creative Time Floral uh, sentiment, Sentiments. So um, that's my card using the scalloped petal. And um, so I hope you like that. Then I took it a little bit further and... I also used on this one, Cuddlebug 
a cuddle bug folder. Um, this one swirls. And it was one of my early, early ones also. I do really like it. I did use the coordination paper. Like I said, it just makes them look so nice. I love that coordination paper. And then I just took one of the petals that I had cut off over here the end and stamped high. And that was from Teeny Tag Greetings from my creative time. And um, that's a three and a quarter by three and a quarter card. Then I also did it in flowered or uh, patterned paper. Same principle. And then I also did it in the polka dots. So these are all three and a quarter by three and a quarter. They'd make a really nice little card set of four or five as a gift. So there's three. And really that pink just with the coordination paper just really looks nice. So it was fun doing this. I do like this <laughs> folder now. And like I said, I was frustrated and never really used it because... I, I just know I'm, <laughs> I love flowers, anything flowers. So it is really a great, a great um, embossing and die set. It just was a little harder to, to use. And maybe you could line it up, but I work for hours. And like I said, I'm a perfectionist. Uh, maybe the, um, the, the petals weren't too bad, but then the circles were off. So I just assumed die cut it first and then emboss it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have some more. Thanks.